Hey, are you an artist? Or maybe you know somebody who's an artist. Well, how'd you like to make $18,000 putting your designs, you know, any of your cartoons or anything, on a plate? So people sit down at dinner and they put their food on something that's cool that you've designed. Well, this is the next interview. This is why this guy is a, a designer, an artist, and he does these great cartoons you can see on the internet that he plays around with. And he does like one every day. And he said, why do I put this on a plate? <laughs> <laughs> and he figured that all out. Now they're not even on the plates yet, but he got like $18,000 already on the internet to go and have that process made. So what he did is spend his time drawing, you know, and, and figuring out what's gonna be on the plates. And it's a really cute little thing. <laughs> it's really funny that, that, that he's gonna get on there. And so he puts it on the internet and says, hey, would you like to have this on a plate? Isn't that sort of cool? And the crowd gave him 18,000 bucks, right? Now just think the other way, he'd have to go to some plate manufacturer and stuff like that and, and be turned down and by a hundred times and maybe be lucky and find somebody or, or make a hundred plates themselves. And, and then go to people's stores that sell plates and see if they buy them or not. They probably won't because they don't think there's a market for this. But here, all he did was show the design on the internet. Didn't invest in the plates. Didn't invest in having the, the, his design put on the plates yet until the crowd gave him money. They said, yeah! <laughs> and they threw $18,000 at him. <laughs> we want that! See, that's the only way you're gonna figure this out. That's the only way to figure out, hey, if the stuff is really there, if it's real, that people really want this, do I have a good product? Don't go spending gazillions of dollars, you know, and figuring that out. Even on plates, who would have thought there's a business in putting cartoons on plates? So watch this. Well, Don Moyer with a calamity wear dinner plate, right? <laughs> now you just like flying monkeys. Is that what it's about? But this is your hand painted dinner plates you're making, right? Yes. Uh, these are a drawing that I did in, uh -huh. in order to reproduce it on dinner plates. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, are you surprised that, I mean, what made you think, I mean, I don't know anything about, you know, flatware or dinnerware or underwear for that matter. And, but that you could go on the web and raise $18,000 or more for you to <laughs> make your dinner plates? It's a bit of a surprise. Uh, I like to draw. I like drawings that are funny. And uh, last summer I started drawing uh, um, uh, traditional dinner plates, but adding a calamity. Uh, uh, so, you know, uh, robots and, and uh, zombie poodles and so forth, uh, monkeys. And people said, oh, that would be great if you do a play someday. So uh, I decided back in October to uh, do a, a design for a, a real physical plate and have uh, have it fired in the in porcelain in the kilns, and I thought the Kickstarter would be a way to see if any, anybody wanted to join me. I wanted a plate. Maybe other people did too. Well, I mean, I mean Kickstarter. I think of particularly Kickstarter. It, you know, I think it's you know it's some gadgets that's going to hang my phone from the ceiling while I'm on my spinning class or whatever that. Could, and this is like something Grandma would buy, you know. But she wouldn't if she really saw the pictures. Well, it depends on Grandma. Yeah, but uh, yes, a Kickstarter lets you do any project. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't have to be high tech. Uh, a dinner plate seemed perfect. Wow, that's amazing. So you made your goal, no problem. You got another week to go, right? And uh, you're going to go. So it'll be out like right after Christmas sometime, January, February. Kind of? uh, and uh, we need to do some proofing in December. And then uh -huh. uh, at the beginning of January, we'll be firing plates and packing them up. Um, I'm sure everybody will, uh, will get their plates in February. Uh, well before uh, Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Well, that's good. Uh, Valentine's Day is a special day for us, too. Uh, how, is, how is Kickstarter to you? I mean, how did you find that process? Yeah, I was delighted with the process. Yeah. I had sponsored a few Kickstarter projects ah. and, and had a, sort of a sense of how it works. Uh, but they give you excellent uh, documentation on what they recommend and, and why they recommend it. Very, very thorough and, and complete. I was impressed. Um, follow their instructions and, and you can put a project uh, wow. together. And uh, they recommend a video and I, I made a two minute video to tell my story. 
uh, that that was a, good, a challenge to tell the story quickly. Uh, well, no, but it's a wonderful video. I, I really think it's because it shows you, you know, and then people can buy you. Not only your your face won't be in the plate, but your thought will be. <laughs> well, it's it's a little bit about me, so yes. uh, it seemed appropriate. And uh, anyway, Kickstarter does an excellent job of sort of steering you through their process. Uh, it would it would be hard to get lost. Really, huh? So you could uh, just follow the instructions and you're there. And did you have, you know, apprehension about doing it? Like, oh boy, if I fail, people are gonna say I'm a failure or whatever. <laughs> I think anybody who's uh, uh, honest is uh, aware of the, the idea of failure. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, the way to think about it is we're gonna learn something from the failure. So I, I think some Kickstarter projects uh, start and maybe only succeed on their second or third try. I because, see. Huh. Because they learned about what doesn't work. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I was lucky. Uh, some, some things came together, and, and there are enough crazy people who would like to have <laughs> uh, flying monkeys on their plate that we succeeded. Uh, but we would have learned a lot either way. Mm -hmm. Now, was it hard? I mean, was it overwhelming? Do you have to hire specialists and consultants to get the thing done on this thing? Uh, I imagine you could, but I, I felt like this had to be just me. Ah, so so uh, I, I, uh, I did the drawing. I, I found the plate uh, porcelain manufacturer. Uh, not difficult to do. Um, the video I did uh, with my phone. That's a phone video you did? No kidding. You just sit up on a stick and you stood there and did it? Clamp the phone to the, the table so it wouldn't wiggle. And, uh, wow. So, you know. No kidding. People charge a lot of money for production companies to come in and do that. I did have a friend, uh, Jack, help me uh, edit in some pictures on ah, top okay. of me talking. But uh, it took him, uh, I would say, uh, uh, one morning, four right. hours, and we, we were done. It wasn't worth more than that. Right. <laughs> well, you got $18,000 and a new career here doing plates with monkeys on them. <laughs> Wow, that's amazing. I mean, do you have, would you ever do like a, a whole series of flatware, whatever you call it, or just, just plates for design? There are uh, at least 20 plate designs in my sketchbook, oh. which people can, can see all my drawings on Flickr. Uh -huh. But uh, uh, I, I'm thinking there might be an appetite out there for six. I see. <laughs> this is from your research. And my, my shallow research. I'm thinking uh, for sure we're going to do a second one. Uh -huh. uh, and I'm asking the sponsors to, uh, to sort of vote, give me feedback on what calamity they would prefer I next. See. So what for the next one? So in other words, people on, uh, to get this current plate, you have to be in the Kickstarter thing before that ends to buy this. Otherwise, you'll be in the, the next shot, right? Yes. And, uh, because then the monkeys are gone. Then the next one will be zombies or somebody like that. Exactly. Monkeys become a rare collectible. I see. <laughs> so when you get one of these things, you got a collector's item, you know, forever. You don't even have to eat off of it. But they can be, uh, you know, you yes. can use it as dinnerware. They're uh, dishwasher safe, food safe, right. microwave safe, safe. I see. <laughs> Just not in the mine. <laughs> Well, that's terrific, Donna. I think the work you do is wonderful and fun. Anybody who could bring fun to my dinner table <laughs> by way of a plate. Too, too many plates have been too serious for too long. <laughs> I hate those serious plates. <laughs> and we find you at calamityware.com, right? C A L A M I T Y W A R E.com, right? Yes. And your project's still on Kickstarter. People want to find that, right? Yeah, we'll always have something at that site. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Don. Take care and keep painting. We need you. We need funny plates. <laughs> thank you, Matthew. Ah, so maybe you're not an artist. <laughs> you know what but whatever your idea is, it's the same principle. You know, you have the idea, you develop it as much as you can just to show people. And that's why even his video that he did, he did with his iPhone. He didn't have some big production company come in and do his video. No, he just used his iPhone and set it up there and, and videotaped himself. 
talking about it. Because see, when you're looking at him, you're buying him. He's telling you a story. You know, he's telling you how important this is. And, and when you buy that from him, you're buying his story. You know, you're not just buying a plate. You see him and you're buying him. And that's why I see what people do and what the people want to do in this country now is be involved in something. When I used to sell my books on television, you know, and I'd be one minute on television. People never saw the books, but they'd buy millions of these things and never even you know, saw the book. And that's what you can do now. And that's what crowdfunding sources, this free money on the internet allows you to do. And now you have to get off your butt, think of something, <laughs> put it together now, and do your little video, <laughs> and put it on, see what happens. You got nothing to lose, everything to gain.